in my humble opinion, one of the best ways to do a quiz in a Moodle course is to actually uh, bring in the form feature from Google Docs. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We'll start by going to uh, Google Drive, which is where you would have to go if you're going to actually create a form. And if you click on Create, you see there's an option here for Form. So you create for, you click on the form. And this will bring up a series of dialogues. You'll have to title the, the quiz. Um, you might want to give more directions here. And then you can set, set up a series of questions. So here's question one. We'll make that uh, a multiple choice question with uh, uh, choice one, choice two, choice three. Um, and then you can continue in that similar vein. Uh, of course, at this point, you'd also save the, the, the test. Now, I'm, I'm not going to bore you with trying to actually create a whole test, because I've actually got one right here ready to go that I already created and saved. So here's a geography quiz. Let me point out a couple of features here. Um, up in the upper left-hand corner, I've checked the box that says Automatically Collect Respondents American School of Doha Username. And what that'll do is when the student comes to fill out the quiz, it'll automatically collect their username. Now, even though we did that, I've also got a place here for them to actually enter their name. I think that's just good practice. And then there's a series of multiple choice or, uh, or uh, uh, click block answers. And uh, uh, this now I'm going to take, and I want to be, this to be the quiz I'm going to use in my Moodle course. So um, I've made sure I've already saved it, and I'm coming over here to where it says uh, um, More Actions, and there's an option here for Embed. So I click on that, and this gives me a line of text that I am supposed to copy and paste into the website. So I copy it, and now I have to go over to my Moodle course. So first thing I'm going to have to do in my Moodle course is uh, turn, oops, I was editing was off. Let's turn it back on again. Turn editing on, and then come down here, find a topic box to which to, to add it. And when you add it as a resource, you actually can, um, you might think you'd want to find something that said quiz or, or link to another page, but actually the tool that I seem to like the best and is really quite versatile is the label tool. So I choose the label tool from, from the, the pull down. And uh, what I'm going to really be doing here is I'm going to be embedding HTML. So I have to use the HTML tag. And you'll see that off to the right hand corner, there's a, uh, some HTML markers, marks. And uh, I'm going to click on that. And then all I have to do is paste what I just copied. I click on Save and Return to Course. And what you're going to see that's different when we actually scroll down and look at it is you're going to see that form that is entirely embedded here. So um, that's pretty much how you put the form. But let's take a look at, at what happens when students fill it out. So let me turn the editing off. And let me switch the role to a student. Of course, it's going to be a student with my username. So um, I might as well not try to fool it. See, it even lists my username. Now, you might wonder about that. See where it says uh, jjna at asd.edu.qa? Will that say that on every form? No. That will actually say that have the student's username there, not mine. Um, so uh, I'll enter my name. Looks like it's already in the pop-up. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a series of responses here. Now, you will have to determine which of these are the correct response. Um, we click on Submit. And it says the response has been recorded. So now let's go back over to where the geography quiz form is. And uh, let's view the responses. Now, we can view it as a summary, which isn't going to be quite as useful. We'll look at it as a spreadsheet. So here you can see there's a timestamp, uh, username, my name, and the three responses that I entered. Um, so in this way, you can come back to the spreadsheet and you have a record of what each student's response is. And of course, you can use this as a grade. Um, and then later, uh, you can email or just notify the student in person in class how they did on the quiz.